Once you've already done a search in Psych Info and you have the results that you're looking through, the easiest way to tell the difference between whether the results are an empirical study, a meta-analysis, a research paper, or sorry, not a research paper, a re review paper, or something else, is to use the filters. So here are my search results, and I am going to scroll down to the side, and I've already used the filter uh, to say that I want scholarly peer-reviewed journal journals, but I can actually use another one to make it more specific. And so that is the methodology filter. So this was closed, but I had already opened it. So here it is, so methodology. You can see here that there's different options. So empirical study is one of them. There's also the option to click for literature reviews, and there's even some meta-analysis papers in there. So depending on what kind of paper you want to define, you could click on one of these filters and it would narrow down your search results to that type of study. What I'll do now is I'll click the box for empirical study just so that we can look at one of those specifically. That'll update your search results and now everything here is an empirical study. So if your instructor has said you must use that, then that's the easiest way to be able to tell. Another way that you can tell if you're not sure is that you can actually go into the PDF. Um, I'm just going to open this one um, randomly. And you can go through and you can assess for yourself whether it looks like an empirical study based on the sections. So this one starts with an introduction. It doesn't label it as introduction, but it has an introduction. And then it has, um, similar to the paper we just looked at, it has these sections, video games and emotion, video games and feelings of guilt. Um, so when you read through these, you'll see, and you can actually tell because they have so many citations um, in these brackets, what they're doing is they're doing kind of a review of what research is out there so far. So this is in line with what we know about the sections of an empirical study. Okay, so here's another section, role-playing video games, narrative, and transportation theory. So this whole section right here is kind of like a literature review of that theme. Then we move into the rationale and hypotheses. So this is a little bit different than the paper that we already looked at. They're calling it something slightly different, but nonetheless they're saying, okay, here's our hypotheses for what we think is going to happen and our rationale for why we're doing this study. Then they move into their method. They move into their method, which looks familiar to what we looked at before. They're describing their participants. They go through their procedure. And they have a little bit more information even than the last paper we looked at did. Um, their measures, so they're going into quite a bit of detail here. What their control variables were. They do their data analysis down here. And then they've got a section for results. And let's see what else they've got. So this is all results. As you saw before, there's usually a discussion section in an empirical study, and this one definitely has it. And this section here where they say methodological, sorry, methodological limitations and directions for future research, that's also kind of like a conclusion. So it's like, here's what we've concluded, and here's what we think the next step is for other researchers who might want to go out and continue working on this subject area. And then, of course, the references. So um, that is the, the two ways of determining whether something's an empirical study. The first way is by looking at your search results and clicking the, the box on the side for under methodology. And the second way is actually going into the PDF and looking at the sections and saying, yep, these are the general sections of an empirical study. I know that this paper is good to use. As you can see, there is a wide range of ways that academic researchers can contribute knowledge to the scholarly community. Generally speaking, for your psych papers, you're gonna to wanna to use empirical studies, but always double check with your instructor because they may be open to you using other kinds of papers as well. Now we're going to do a hands-on activity so that you can get some practice differentiating between those types, and then we will move on to our next topic.